Uh, welcome to Thriving in Abundance Talk. Ika Malami, Nguzoto Msimang, Kan Sibande. It's so good uh, to be in this place. And of course, Nam Slanje, Nivarashelo Baba, U Kayo, Pungose. Hey, Indo Tagele, Oma Etula, Nangele, Ning, you got the Engi Tana Kuluguti. He is the senior pastor of Kayelihle University of Spiritual Growth that is located La Paya Emlazi Kotwa Ke Abaningi Bazomazi as one of the very able administrators uh, in local government, not just in Guazulu Natal, not just in Azania, but also in the continent of Africa and perhaps the globe. And of course, is armed with all the relevant um, qualifications, including a master's in business administration. So, Nakuba. Yeah, and <laughs> Kingdom greetings. It's Amen. an honor and privilege to be hosted by you and uh, indeed I want to give him all the glory because he deserves the glory in Kulungulu. He really is uh, is the reason why we are here. He is the reason <laughs> yeah. why we are here. Yeah. On that yeah. note let me ask you to open with a word of prayer. Father God we thank you. We give you all. We give you glory. There is none like you. It's an honor and privilege to be called your children. We thank you, Uti. You already secured a future for us. You already have secured a destiny for us. We have an assignment. Mm -hmm. It's an honor, it's a privilege just to know you. Mm -hmm. Uti, we have a father in you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are being sustained by you because we are yes, the Lord. source of life. Yes, Lord. For mm -hmm. this wonderful opportunity, just to share a perspective from your word, yes, from Lord. the source. Siabonga nkulunkulwe to which we can never run empty, mangabesi propelled by the Holy Spirit. Siawe temba gugutu zaubanati kona ola a studio. Unati futu nkulunkulwe to mission. Abase makaya, nabaso za ilalela, a podcast. Siwe tembiliga kulu gutu, you'll touch them. Somebody's destiny is going to change. Gang my message from the King of Kings through your channel. Siabong and Kulungulu to go to Suen Zile Loco, Sbongoguba, Ingwen and Jim Sevens Wako, which is to Christine Gossi, or Sensalis Manga, Mangabe Equator, and the salvation ye to eight sick fezzi. Siabong and Kulungulu Titi, already it's a done deal. I go to Gianicotiate, I go to Conoxel, it's already done. Amen and Amen. Amen. It's already a done deal. Mm, there is amen. no negotiation. No. <laughs> <laughs> amen. All right. Amen. If you've just joined us, welcome to Thriving in Abundance. Talk. Kikamalami. Uzoto msimangansi bande na mshanjwe. Nino babao kayo. Pungo se kuba. So kulumalenda abaye kingdom. Kanjaro no nen government or governance. You know, kese amu tola gase la uguti. Kwa ni yini kingdom. Uh, Amen. government. Amen. jointly. Because wow. I believe sometimes we can wow. be confused by things Amen. that are not supposed to be confusing, that yeah. are supposed to be clear. Indeed. We just Indeed. need to understand. Nyatanda ge lapaya is kubulo se to as thriving in abundance talk. Sitola gala lapaya in Wadiniga John Ten Ten, where it says the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came so we may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Yeah. Then God said, let us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, make man in our own image, Amen. according to our likeness, not mm -hmm. physical, mm -hmm. but a spiritual personality and mm -hmm. moral likeness. Mm -hmm. And let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the beds of the air, the cattle, mm -hmm. and over the entire earth, and over everything that creeps and crawls. So God created man in his own image, mm -hmm. in the image and likeness of God, mm -hmm. he created him, male and female, Amen. he created them. Amen. And God 
bless them, that is granting them certain authority Amen. and said to them, be fruitful, multiply mm. and fill the earth and subjugate it, putting Amen. it under your power Amen. and rule over, which is dominate Amen. the fish of the sea, the Amen. birds of the air and every living thing that moves upon the earth. In the kingdom, wow. Cobb. <laughs> it's, am it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, uh, you know, when you talk the kingdom, mm. it is God's big idea okay. for the human race. Ah. <laughs> it's yeah. God's big idea for the human race. All of right. course, taken from exactly where we have just quoted in the Bible, you know, Genesis 1, 26 to 28, because it's so clear Yes. Uncle Ngoli is talking about the human race. Mm -hmm. Because as far as God is concerned, there is but one race. Ah. <laughs> That's why Lento apartheid, racism, could not be sustained yeah. because even the colonialism, yeah. all those systems could not be sustained which yeah. were causing us to be, to be subjugated. Yeah. Because yeah. as far as God is concerned, a yeah. human being yeah. inferior. Yeah. All of us are made in his image. We should all of us sigwaz we just compete. How many are we now? Uh, eight billion. Yeah. You know, all of us were made in his image and therefore are already having a DNA to succeed. It, yeah, it depends on circumstances. Okay, bring it, it on. It also depends on whether we know. Because as far as I've read the Bible, yeah. I find Uti, many a time yeah. we think the greatest problem that we have as the human race mm. is Satan. I have good news for us. Yeah. Satan was long defeated. Yeah. Yeah. He's under our feet. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> our faith tells yeah. us he's under our feet. So, and we think also sin is our problem. Mm. That was defeated mm. together with Satan. Yeah. yeah. But in King Ayetu is in Hosea 4 verse 6. I was in Naoba. My people mm. are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm. So that is where it is. So Amayama's ignorance is our problem. That is why when Jesus Christ saw crowds, lions as an answer, a miracle, yes. you could see feeding a crowd, thousands yes. and so on. Yes. He was not creating a scene, yeah. but he was moved by compassion. So when he looked at them, those gathered thousands, he saw them like, they were like sheep, but without a shepherd. Ah. And he felt compassion yeah. within him, yeah. which said to him, just teach them. Yeah. Because if you want to defeat ignorance, you have to teach people. Yeah. That is why I really commend you, my sister, for what you are doing. Wow, woman of God. Amen. What you are doing because you are providing a platform to teach yeah. our people, Amen. you know, globally. Amen. Because you are basically reaching the whole world. Amen. So as you reach humanity, you are busy on an assignment that is very important because why did Jesus Christ come and introduce this assignment of teaching? Because what he was doing, he was the greatest of all teachers. And he decided to say, in my compassion, as I see with these people languishing in ignorance, the best thing, let me teach them. And he was teaching about what? Jesus always taught about the kingdom. And he also instructed his, his uh, disciples, Woody, when you go, as I'm assigning, go and teach about the kingdom. Okay, the question is, what is the kingdom? Is the kingdom, <laughs> the kingdom, um, also. Also. <laughs> the kingdom yes. is what Jesus Christ brought, mm. as Isaiah tells us. Yeah. Well, Isaiah tells us, mm -hmm. Oguti, as he comes, mm. he says, the government shall be upon his shoulder. So, why is the government? It is because, Tina, what we lost when we fell into sin, mm. we lost this relationship with the Father. Mm. Because the Father 
had already established the kingdom mm -hmm. and he decided that we must taste what he he actually is already experiencing because he's the king of kings mm -hmm. i have good news for us mm -hmm. when we say so it doesn't necessarily mean kings only that we know like in our case we have king mrs zulu Gasolitin, yeah. or perhaps king in england and so on no it means all of us as long as we believe in the lord jesus christ actually we are kings as well that is why we are as we are kings we are also priests we have yeah. royal priesthood so already we are born into the royal family so he wanted us to taste a king a, a dominion how it is like to operate as a king to operate where there is no lack where there is abundance i'm glad you quoted jesus christ when he talked about him being the good shepherd that the good shepherd actually is different from those who are the hirelings because those who are hired whenever there is a threat facing the ship they are the first ones to go to be on the run but yena he says i've come that they may have life and have it more abundantly so abundant life is what he has promised the good thing about him is that he's not man that he should lie whatever he has promised is what he delivers it means therefore in our dna is to taste this kingdom this because king a kingdom actually comes from two words it comes from the king which means there is a king who is the king jesus christ is the king the father is the king because the son and the father are but one so it means well just like gods small with small g so we are here to do what to dominate because do, dom actually comes from dominion which means to dominate we are here to dominate the earth not to be dominated that is why we cannot be subjected to drugs we cannot be subjected to any plant to anything that has been made for us to dominate it we are supposed to be even the substances anything and everything that is on earth is you were just reading my sister <laughs> saying you know we have to dominate over this over the you know creepy animals any anything what i'm glad is that from the list that you were reading mm. there is no mention of human domination mm -mm. we're not supposed it's not part of our assignment to dominate people that is Each why other. yes exactly that is why any dictatorship under the sun is mm. bound to fall <laughs> one way or mm. someday there is no 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 tyranny that is going to survive forever it's impossible it's only the kingdom of god that is going to last forever otherwise we have seen they rise and fall that is why history is full of you know in the annals of history we are always told the rise and fall of this dictator the rise and fall so anybody who is subjecting people to anything that is destroying them is bound to fall any kingdom that is not of god is bound to fall so it, it's just a given it's a matter of time as far as god, the good thing is that god lives outside of time he created it for for us so yeah. so the kingdom therefore there is a place called heaven i think it's very important to begin there a place called heaven this is our home country that is why our citizenship first and foremost if you believe in jesus christ your citizenship first is actually in heaven and i call us and if you don't believe in jesus christ uh, unfortunately then you are you are only going to claim your citizenship from earth only you know okay. your life just begins from earth and ends there so that that's the unfortunate part because as far as we are concerned we are heavenians that, that's how i coin it we? those who believe in the lord jesus christ oh, okay. because what christ came to do he came so that our kingdom which we lost through sin mm -hmm. we could then retain it we have retained our citizenship already mm -hmm. so we are already in the kingdom and therefore how we operate when people are supposed to worry we don't worry because you know we pray about everything so we're supposed to worry because of circumstances we're not governed by circumstances mm -hmm. because christ lives in us mm -hmm. so as he lives in us it means 
we are there's a verse that i like mm -hmm. it says above all as guard your heart because it is the wellspring of life so it means things actually begin in how we look at life in how we perceive things so in other how we think is exactly what is going to produce how we are like mm -hmm. you know we we are going to be uh, so propelled by what we think so if we think we are kingdom citizens, we are here to dominate the earth, indeed you are going to dominate your own mountain. We, we say there are seven mountains you know, of influence. Mm -hmm. So each one of us is born to excel in their area of gifting. Whether it's government, whether it's medicine, whether it's law, anything and everything that is there can be dominated by children of the living God. By kingdom citizens. You know, in reality, though, Kuba, is that good about about dominator that are not necessarily located in that space that you're yes. referring to. Yes, that yes. are not necessarily governed by the principles. Aha, manuchi supaz. Kote angfunu siken kala ngoshe langi ngati mang pega ya zwe since kati yafunu gu ipegi zinto. Umang buga la one of the books is gababa umaz manro. Ut a kingdom is the governing influence of a king mm. over his territory, yes. impacting it with his personal will, yes. purpose and intent, producing a culture, values, mm. morals. Mm and lifestyle mm. that reflects the king's desires oh, sure. and nature of his kingdom. Yes. 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 It's true. Yeah. However, you're told with my some principles. Ah. It's like a force of gravity. Okay. You don't have to believe in it. <laughs> you don't have to believe in it for it to apply ah. but I'm a principles mm -hmm. it's like the more you give yes. the more you receive okay. so whether we are we believe in the kingdom ah. so if a person is a giver it means they are already using I'm a principles of the kingdom ah. so also if you are going to be and it is tear guard your heart if a person is going to guard their heart yeah. and they make sure oh, they've got some principles that they follow, meaning some people can succeed using kingdom principles without, mm -hmm. in fact, sometimes I even say, even universities the world over, they plagiarize. <laughs> Big time. They do. They do because, for instance, they teach us about uh, servant leadership. Yes. But really, who introduced servant leadership is Jesus Christ. Yeah. But universities the world over, I, I say they plagiarize because it's like, you know, they've just come up, you know, with a That's concept. A yeah, yes. Yeah. It's not just a concept. Yeah. It comes yeah. from him because yeah. he said, you want to be number one. Oh, you must serve others. Mm. You want to be, you know, if you really want to dominate, if you want to have influence, he mm. said, you must be a servant of all. You must be a slave of all. So, you know, he tells us how we can actually lead. So that's Jesus Christ. It's like also delegation. I often say, you know, people plagiarize mm -hmm. when they talk about, uh, uh, you know, that concept, mm. you know, because mm. they don't say it was actually Moses who had a problem and mm. had the conversation with the uh, father-in-law, you know, uh, and the father-in-law was asking him, hey, son, what's going on in your life as you are leading Israel? Mm. He says, I'm so exhausted. Mm. Dead. Mm. Hey, they, they. Then he mm. says, uh, you know, I'm busy the whole day. I'm, I'm dealing with all these cases and so on. He says, no, you can't do this. You're going to kill yourself. The best thing, yeah. find some uh, a, a team. Make sure you appoint a team and give them, you know, to deal with matters that mm. at their level and mm. you are training them and so on. Mm -hmm. That's delegation. delegation. Yeah. So Jethro, yeah. as far as the Bible is concerned, is yes. the father of delegation. So I'm saying there are many concepts that yeah. are in the Bible, but which when we go to universities is never quoted. So basically mm. it's the same thing. Therefore, I agree with you to say, when you look at uh, uh, the concept of the kingdom, there's a constitution as well, because heaven is so real. Mm. It's actually more real than earth, mm. because it produces earth. Mm. <laughs> it produces earth. Yeah. That's why Jesus Christ, when he says to us, as we pray, we must say, our Father, which art in heaven. Yeah. He said in heaven, because he wanted to 
for us to be clear on the concept yeah. as, as to where there is a location, there is a place called heaven. Yeah. And then he says, uh, your kingdom come. Mm. Hmm. And then he says, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So which means really this is, this is for real. It's there, it's a country, mm. but it has a constitution. And what is the constitution? The living Bible. <laughs> it's, the, it's the word of God. The Holy Bible. Yes, if a person doesn't believe, but I'm saying they do apply the principles. That is why they win. That is why actually Jesus Christ even had an issue mm -hmm. with his own followers. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, those of the world seem to be smarter than those that are in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's why he said to us, you know, you must be wise as serpents, mm -hmm. harmless as doves. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he said, how is the serpent? Very cunning. Mm -hmm. A serpent, the number of uh, you, you, you see. <laughs> so in other words, but but he says he expects yes. us to be that wise yeah. and yet being harmless. We should yes. not be causing any harm on people. So yeah. the kingdom has the constitution, therefore, and the kingdom has principles. Yeah. It's, it's meant to be a lifestyle okay. because it's also meant. It also has a language. Okay. We 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 speak. We don't speak like the world speaks. Yeah. Because the world speaks pessimism. Pe pe you know, we speak life. Oh. Because what comes from the mouth, there's the power of confession. Mm -hmm. You know, we always speak something that we desire. You know, mm -hmm. we, we speak his word. Whatever he said about us, you shall be heard and not tail. That, that there is a sem some semblance, some features of being in the tail. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean this is what I must confess. Then there are things I do not say, not because, you know, of anything else, but because I'm principled. The king has said to me, life and death is in the tongue. Mm. As a matter of fact, actually, mm. he, he begins with death, mm. which, is, which is very interesting. Mm. I ask myself, why does this Bible verse mm. say death and life is in the tongue? Mm. It is because well, we are prone mm. to, to pronounce on negative things. Mm. But he says, choose life. So it's a choice. It's, a, it's choice. a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. Yes, but then there is colonization, there is community, yes, there is yes. culture, it's there me. is commonwealth, mm. and and so mm. the, the, all these are principles of the kingdom, which yeah. I know each concept needs explanation. Yeah. You know, yeah. the constitution is yeah. lifestyles. Is you know, but, but I want you know you you're referring to a lifestyle yes. in a kingdom. Yes. What are you talking about? Talk about lifestyle in a kingdom. Yeah. Yes. we pronounce life. So yes. 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 Come unto me. Yes. Come unto me, all you that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So it's as fun apply easy. Exactly. So in lifestyle yes. then becomes the application, application of the word. Yes. Um, uh, 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 I think it was two pal thirty three where it says wow. seek first his kingdom. Wow. Wow. Seek first his kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pursuing the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But but the fact of the matter is because he said it. Yeah. Who said this? Who said this? Jesus Christ himself says in Matthew 6 33, mm. seek you first mm. the kingdom. Mm of God mm. and his righteousness. Yeah. Because seek you first the kingdom. Abanye the righteousness yeah. part. Yeah. it's demanded. It's demanded. It's demanded. So I was good to listen no. to those no, it's inseparable. It's inseparable. Yes, yes, yes. In righteousness. In <laughs> 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 righteousness yes. understanding that I've surrendered my life. Yeah, I'm dead to sin. I <laughs> surrender. <laughs> yes, I surrender. So in other words, I'm no longer propelled by my flesh. 
because I'm dead to sin. Hey. Baptism means dying. So it means I'm dead to sin. Mm -hmm. So in other words, I no longer am influenced by the flesh, but I'm already propelled by the spirit because in me lives the spirit. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm. That is why, oh Jesu, anybody who encounters Jesus, mm. we can ask, we can go to that lady, the woman of Samaria. Yes. In the gala, he is asking a deep moral question. Yes. Uh, where, where is your husband? Where is your husband? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And, and he asks that question mm. particularly because he is now addressing the morality mm. of our lives. So, in mm. other words, to avail it, umuntu ezo nwene azenzayo, asiki so no esfarane nese sexual immorality. Because to allow your one is sinning against one's own body. Mm. Can you imagine yeah. sinning mm. against one's own body? Mm. So, in other words, he, 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 Righteousness, mm. opila, sibe moral campus, mm. tina as children of the Most High God. Kwenzo wuti kunga bikoni zindo as balega yo, as balega kizon. So I see be sweet aroma. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So ngamu yeah. yomas as far as wuti my private life yeah. is different from my public life. No, How? there must there must be this integrity yeah. you know we should find was, yes. Yes. no 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 yes. no no yes. no 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 not just my generation, but future generations, because they are going to study what we do. They, they'll check on us, and mm. we must be a good example to them. Mm. And therefore, as we hand over the baton, mm. we should be handing over uh, into Ngempela that they can emulate. Mm. So it's very important. Mm. The question we should really be asking people who want to be voted into office is, mm -hmm. what is your plan? As far as, as, as far as our children are concerned. Hmm? Ah, okay. What's the plan for the next generation? Ah. What is the plan for okay. the next generation? Okay. No, no. They'll tell us. Amen. That's a profound question. That's yeah. a profound question. plan yeah. Because Repent. Repent. For the kingdom has arrived. Ah. Repent. And he said exactly what John the Baptist had pronounced. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist, Utenje, repent, for the kingdom has arrived. Mm -hmm. Why does he say that? Because he says, if you are going to view the kingdom from the carnal mind, mm -hmm. from what you already know, mm -hmm. unfortunately, you are going to fail to even comprehend what the kingdom entails. Mm -hmm. So look around, look at life differently. That's why he says, a person hits you, this chick, give him another one. But it's not he even wants... practical though. Like, I mean, as come a kini so like, now, eh, kuma. When I'm going to be extra, I'm going to be like, this is that. Let me tell you, my sister, yes. in my youth, while growing up, yeah. I was 21. Yeah. Mm. In the struggle, because he says, I belong to party A, mm. they belong to party B. Yes. And he spat at me. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even say I was so religious. I wouldn't say, but the fact, give me an into color. My reaction was, mm. wow, if it happened to Jesus Christ, who am I? Who am I to retaliate? Who am I? Mm. And then, and then he, he's the one who had to apologize. Yeah. You know, he, he even the very first person I met the next day, I, I, I there and then I actually um, forgave him. And the next day, he, he, he's the very first person I come across is mm. himself. And mm. uh, he's saying to me, he still apologizes. I'm saying, hey, you know what? This thing is long gone as far as I'm concerned. So why, why are you bothering yourself and bothering me now? Because, mm. you know? Mm. So, so I'm basically trying to say, I believe it's honestly doable. Yeah. Because so in it, it's other words, Omasifuna mm. Opila, this kingdom lifestyle, yes. we must study the person of Jesus Christ. That's it. And O Hambulwag. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Gimtanda Futumetic Lena Tingi quota earlier, Yaku Matthew, La Eticona, 
and sick then come unto me all you are oh, heavy ah, laden, heavy laden. And, and so, so and i'll yeah. give you rest beseti nifunde kimi ngokuba mina ngimnene ngithobile ngenhliziyo and imphefumulo yini yothuna yothola impumoza i rest uyiphiya iphinde rest he says it twice twice yes why yeah. but he says learn from me mm. study ngama yomazi he's saying study mm. me yes mm. yes i must be in other words every pulpit ngempela mm. where uh, salvation is being taught the mm. kingdom mm. we should be very clear that the epicenter of the entire discussion is jesus mm. because if it's jesus christ yashua hamashiach angkulumi ngei tombeleze za pendwa i i talk about him the king of kings yeah. if if we really are looking at his identity the yeah. image lenesens yeah. yeah. ngayo then in a likeness then yeah. ngempela we we are like sine well, we look like him yeah yeah it yeah. look likeness i even yeah. said that you know yeah. it's like if you the, the water that i have here yeah. came yeah. from a, a bottled water you mm. know and it's exactly what is what remains in that bottle is exactly the same as what is in this particular glass So in other words it's exactly the same not as we are made in the image of God exactly because Jesus Christ to are in the book of Hebrews mm. we have this royal high priest otablila mazulu to Jesus Christ he has so much mm. of us mm. in terms of what he went through mm. he enjoyed the pain mm. actually there's no there's nothing painful mm. that we can ever go through which mm. is beyond what exactly. christ already mm. enjoyed that's why he had to mm. go through the pain and therefore whenever i go through mm. even maybe what i look as the fiery furnace mm. he's already there because why his name is the consuming fire consuming fire you see my sister sweet perfume <laughs> he, he's already there that's why yes. shut like mishak apet nico yes. the king says but i see the fourth one is the son yeah. of god you see if if i'm i'm like in the lions den yes he is already the lion of judah oh, yeah. he okay. is with me yeah. already yes yes because because that's why david mm. because of his experience yana he says the lord is my shepherd yes yeah? yes he, he says even though i go through the valley of, of the death. shadow of death yeah. i fear not yeah. why because you are with me so so mnangathi amakhola hey I used to say this I was fortunate with Ngitoli Tuba Logu Shumaela from from my youth yeah. in my 20s yes u line ngangihlale ngusebenzisa kakhulu in my youth I used to say inkinga amakholo ungakholwa eh inkinga yamakholwa ungakholwa so yes. the challenge of believers, believers. is not to have is faith is unbelief is unbelief <laughs> It's unbelief not to have faith <laughs> yes yes, <laughs> okay. yes yes all right and and remember what is what is it that l- caused jesus to leave his hometown it was unbelief uh, it pained him when he saw people having no belief yeah. so unbelief ngempela yona into yenza sibe ukukhola kwethu singakuboni ama results because we have no faith so I have faith mm. He says have faith in God have faith. and have faith also in me. Yeah. Oh, ibothi ningane. Sikavata nje. Siyathithisela kodwa nale into yethu. And to tell Jesus uma ngabe ningithanda neyogcina imiyalo yami. So if you love me you'll yeah. keep my commands. And yeah. whoever keeps my commands yeah. that one will be loved by the Father. So in other words what attracts the Father mm. is that we keep the commands what Jesus has told us. Yeah. What did Jesus say to us? Yeah. He said he said we must actually what did he say the very oh, first thing the, yes the very the very first thing i i shilwa ngithi uthe repent for the kingdom yes, yes. has arrived that is, that is Matthew 4:17 yes angithi yes. usho lokho so yes. ngama yemazi masike sakugcina lokho we ah. repent we look at life differently just yeah. as he looks at it and then we love one another and so mm. if we keep that he says the father will love us and he and the father will come mm. and actually be aboard that person 
Yeah. So they'll come and live in us. Yeah. Already yeah. the Holy Spirit is, lives in us. Yeah. He, yeah. Mm. The body is the temple of the Holy yes. Spirit, which yes. means well, the Trinitarian God. Yeah. Wherever we go. Yeah. Can you imagine, my sister? Mm -hmm. Wherever we go. Yeah. Everywhere we go. Yes. So yes. really, my God and I, how can mm. we? Actually, there's no defeat. There is success se, everywhere. Se, se, mm -hmm. la paya, Matthew 5, mm -hmm. 3, where it says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit. In spirit. Yeah. When, when one realizes that they need more of God. More of God. This is called spiritual hunger. Ah. If, if we, we, that's why umuntu also get poor in spirit. Yeah. They tend to love more. Yes. They tend to seek His yeah. presence more. Yeah. They tend uti ayo slanganiela na bangwele much more. Ayo funda more. Ufunuglalela more. We have holy podcast. Ufunuguzwa more because yeah. they 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 always want more. And the two uncle uncle is the rewarder. Ushanjalo Hebrews of those who diligently seek Him. So ngamu ne masukulu bolvele esesulin. We are born to obani amakola. An electricity. Yeah. Oh, are serious. Ah. Uncle, uncle, I want to declare. Yeah. Oh, serious about all of us. Yes. Must get about the kingdom. God, I beseg bang or go to Tina. How serious are we about the relationship? Just like any relationship, because if we don't service the relationship, we don't phone, we don't, we don't pray. In yeah. this case, if we don't really commune mm. and uh, communicate, no mungano to fail a relationship. Yeah, if it, if it, beseg sali ka mguti. He call on Jal. Oh, oh. No more bona gal mese, mese intoxicated. Azwagali ingo, mase yavu. Please, yavu gali ingo, mama gabe. Sego ileso skat. Yo, ingo lulenda ba, eh, eh, kuba. Askwa zgui kata. Nye episode, yo, jankoro kutunga tu sazo pindu buu, pindu buu, ye. Ngobafunege si tanzi, ye. Eh, eh, kora si vala ngayo le, yoguti, he is a rewarder of those who diligently Seek him. Amen. So, from phone, um, phone is You turn the other way. I go to the Oh, um, do me send your send you pay when you the corner lay part. It's um, phone, um, phone, um, phone is this. Um, phone in course. We sex it again. Yeah. So, from we phone, we phone is this. Eh, yeah. No, you see, I'm going This is the, definitely our first episode Amen. of this. Um, Important topic. Yeah. We yeah. are going to have another episode. Now we babu kuba sebonga kulu ngis katsako. Ika malami nguzoto msima gansi bande. Thank you to the team. Siha ukova namshange. Again gigu tembi sege mlaleli. Ugo ti episode yale si epo elande layo izo pinde itola gale futi. Just stay tuned. God bless Azania. God bless Al. Kibbalan. Amen. Amen.